I expect Power Book 4 force to be action packed because there is an all out war going on in Chicago between Tommy Egan and the Flynn organization. In today's episode, I am going to break down these two opponents, their types of leadership traits and their goals when it comes to this street war. And I'm going to give you my prediction of who I think as well is going to win this street war. It's your man, Parlo from the Parlo Gym Show. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. Bless up to you. I really have been enjoying the interaction down in the comments section. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you go over to the YouTube channel. Just do a search for Parlo Gems on YouTube or smash that subscribe button right here and go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this type content. So before we get into today's episode, make sure you check out my last episode where I talked about Tommy being the new ghost. Yeah, I break it down. Some of you didn't agree with me and I love your perspective that you left for me down in the comments section. So let's get it in. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go check that out. So first we have Walter Flynn of the Flynn organization. And in my opinion, he represents the old school. Okay. Family heritage is very important to him. Legacy. And most of all, when it comes to the game or the streets, he is primarily concerned about territory. Now, in my opinion, he reminds me of Marlo from The Wire, who was just a straight up soldier and he was unwilling to change. He wanted the crown and he would do anything to get it. And we see that Walter is very manipulative. He was willing to manipulate his own children and the love of his son's life concerning Gloria. Uh, He is just really stuck in his ways. And that's what he represents to me. He represents the the old the old heads that don't want to change, don't want to progress and don't want to learn anything new. And when it comes to life in general, this is a gem because that can be dangerous. You don't want to get stagnated in life. And in my opinion, that's what Walter Flynn represents. But the question is, can he win this war against Tommy Egan? I mean, let's let's just really deal with this for a few moments. I think he can win. Now, that's different if he's going to win, but I think the Flynn organization can win this war with Tommy if he tries again at causing confusion in the camp. Now, remember, his strategy was to get his son and daughter on his side. Okay, he tried to manipulate them and trick them and make them think that Tommy Egan was trying to finesse them. It backfired. It didn't work. I think his strategy in season two will actually be trying to turn Tommy's people against him. This man is just straight evil, and he'll do anything to keep the crown. Now, another strategy that he could try again, it didn't work because we know he doesn't like to change, (laughs) is that he could actually try to get some more muscle from the homeland or the old land. He called in the four horsemen and that didn't work. Tommy just quickly annihilated them. I mean, strung them up like a hog. (laughs) You remember one of the guys that he just straight gutted oh it was nasty turned him upside down and left him there if he's going to win this war he's going to have to call in some more muscle from the Irish mob in order to defeat Tommy because he is on his third or last leg shall I say 
I mean, he's backed up against a corner. He's like a rabbit dog who's injured and sick. And I think he's running out of options. And finally, if he's going to win this war, he may have to turn snitch. Yeah, he may have to actually do what Tommy's father did, which is try to get the strong arm of the government on his side to defeat Tommy. Will it work? I don't know. But we all know that sooner or later, the heads of these organizations usually turn to being a snitch so they can survive. It's about self-preservation. So those are the only ways that I can foresee Walter Flynn defeating Tommy in this street war. Now, he has a formidable opponent, and I talked about Tommy a little bit more in depth in the last episode where I think Tommy is maturing. I think Tommy is becoming more and more like Ghost because he, though was his partner, he learned from his tutelage. I said in, in one comment to one of the subscribers that Ghost always told Tommy, think, Tommy, think, quit being a hothead. You got to think. And I think that seed is finally starting to grow in Tommy Egan. And we see that he is becoming more strategic when it comes to his endeavors. I think Tommy is going to win the war with Walter Flynn. Is he still crazy? But yes, but Tommy has a number of advantages. Number one is Walter Flynn is terminally ill. The guy has what was it stage three or stage four cancer? He's on his way out. So time is on Tommy's hand. All he needs to do is just play his cards right and Walter's health may fail. Another advantage I believe Tommy has is CBI. OK, he is linked in good with Diamond. Diamond has proven himself to be loyal to Tommy. And we know Tommy, his leadership trait, he's not really about territory. Tommy's just about the money. Tommy is about the hostile takeover. Okay, he even said in season one that his goal was to stack as much paper as possible. And at the end of the season, he said he wanted to run the season. So I believe that his alliance with CBI is going to be his his advantage. I mean, he got them young, them young soldiers. They ready to put in work. <laughs> and finally, I believe that Tommy is going to win this war because of one of my favorite characters. He's going to call two bit. We see in power book ghost that he used two bit to get to Tariq. And I believe we know that 2-Bit is always looking for a job, always muscle. He's always muscle for hire. So I believe 2-Bit is going to show back up in Chicago and put in work. Oh, man, I can't wait. That's my prediction on how Tommy is going to take out the Flynn organization. And eventually, I am predicting that Tommy is going to have to go head up with Diamond. Yeah, in order to run the city, I don't think the Flynn organization is the biggest threat. I believe it's CBI. And he's going to have to take out eventually Diamond and Gerard, or he's going to link up with one of them and both of them will run the city. But that's another episode when it comes to this street war. Let me know your thoughts and comments and predictions down in the comment section. Who's going to win this war? Do you agree with my perspective? Disagree with it? Let me know down in the comment section. It's your man, Parlo from the Parlo Gym Show. Don't forget, if you missed my last episode, be sure to check that out. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. 
And if you enjoy this content, go ahead and step on that like button. Be sure to join me on my next episode. I got more up and coming episodes that I'm excited about. It's your man, Parlo from the Parlo Gym Show. Be sure to rock with me. And until next time, peace.